Yo what's up guys it's Aptix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at Winlater Bionic Lodashi officially the best windows emulator for android devices even better than the game hub windows emulator in terms of performance i'm not kidding guys this is an very underrated open source fork version of the original Winlater C mod and it is called as Winlater Lodashi last time we saw the Winlater Lodashi 2.4 update which literally blew my mind away with the amount of improvements in terms of performance it even managed to defeat game hub windows emulator in gameplay test of GTA 5 while running at better graphics anyways you guys can see Lodashi 2.5 was recently released and I didn't get time to cover it but here we are fixed some bugs and regression and made lots of internal improvements now here I have already added the Winlater Bionic Lodashi 2.5 on my Android device and it will have the package name of Winlater C mode but trust me guys its performance is even way 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 better than Winlater C mode when you open it for the first time as usual with any versions of Winlater it will start adding all the necessary stuff that is required to run Windows emulator on Android once that's done simply tap on the ok button allow this permission go back and here we go let's apply the best settings box 64 preset set it to performance duplicate it afterwards tap on the edit button and set the safe lags level to zero now i'm going to speak in a lower tone because my throat is actually hurting i am very sick for the past few days anyways here i'll choose the performance one preset that i just created now I'll just go ahead and tap on the plus button and start setting up the simulator. Graphics driver will be only one option which is the wrapper graphics driver. Definitely the best graphics driver and in terms of graphics driver version if you have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor or below go with Turnip 25.1.0. For today's video as I have a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor device, I'll go with System Graphics Driver. Tap on the OK button. DX Wrapper you can keep it as default which is 2.3.1, an amazing stable version. Wicked E3D feature level is 12 underscore 1 for DirectX 12 games. Audio Driver set it to Pulse Audio, enable Show FPS and Full Screen options. Once that's done you can go to the Advanced section. Box 64 version is 0.3.7 and the Performance preset which we just created. Startup selection set it to Aggressive. And you can change the screen size by the way to whatever you like. I'll go with 800 by 600 which is the best resolution for best performance or you can even go with 854 by 480p. I'll tap on the enter button and our container will be successfully created. Let's tap on the play button and start our win later Bionic Ludashi and you will be blown away by the performance as much as I did too. There is no test direct 3D option so we can't really benchmark the simulator. We'll need to directly start playing the game itself. With all of that out of the way, let's try out our first game of today's video, the Grand Theft Auto 5 official. As you guys can see, in just a single click, our game has successfully booted. And I'll be showing you guys proper gameplay with a save data already added. I'll also disable vsync so you guys can see how much fps can we actually get while emulating this game on our Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device which is the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. And here we go guys, our game has started. First of all, we'll fix this aspect ratio. So here in graphic we'll disable vsync and we'll also set the screen size to full screen. And let's apply the new settings and you guys can also see the graphics at which I'll be running this game is very high graphics so normal to very high graphics. I'm excited to see how well does win later Ludashi perform. So now that the game has started you guys will be able to notice some stuttering issues here and there. Let's press the space button, get inside the car and experience some free roam. Now I have to say there are some jittery issues here and there. You guys can see frame drops in the graph which did not happen in the Winlater Ludashi 2.4 version. So I guess this might be a problem of my device because last time I tested it out on Realme GT7 Pro. This time I am testing it out on Samsung S25 Ultra with 12GB of RAM. But regardless, uh, I definitely see very bad performance. Just take a look at this. 27 FPS. Actually I had very high hopes for Bionic Ludashi 2.4. 5 because the 2.4 literally blew away my mind and there are so many stuttering issues just take a look at this actually very unexpected i am speechless by the way i did say big things about the simulator but you guys can see sometimes it's smooth but as soon as it gets demanding it starts lagging but that might also be because of the shader compilation now that we are taking the same route that we came from you guys can notice the shuttering issues are much less so I guess shader compilation is a huge factor in this. So let's try out the same route that we just came from now and you guys can see the stuttering issues are minimal not as much as before. So I think if it stutters then it is basically compiling shaders and that's about it. Now you guys can see we came to an unexplored area and the game started lagging quite a lot. So in these terms game of emulator is the best windows emulator <laughs> once again. Uh, because Ludashi 2.5 is not it. 2.4 was the best version. 2.5 is not that amazing. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.